Hey, good day guys. So this is the Jeep Cherokee uh, limited edition, May 1996. Uh, we just got the basic white fascia here. Comes with a bull bar. Uh, done some painting on the mud guards here. It's all been um, body dead, body dead, and sprayed underneath on the bottom, all the way through. Uh, the exhaust is cut behind the Calic converter. I had the exhaust on the on the other one I showed you on uh, my other video, the Jeep I'm selling. So this one's been through insurance uh, because the steering rack um, failed on this one. The recall wasn't done on this model, so I went through insurance and they paid me out. Uh, this one's actually got the Ironman coil springs, not the other one, so I was mistaken, sorry. Uh, this one's got no shocks because I took them out. Yes, no shocks. Um, Keep an arm still there and all the other stuff. Sway bars. Nothing's been stripped on this model. This is dual fuel. Uh, from memory, and thermostat that was replaced as well. And it's running a KN air filter. A different setup to the 94 model. Uh, this one's 96. Different system, different LPG system. But this LPG system was installed on 12 December, 12 December 2010. So out of date as well. Uh, the the hood hood cable has been taken from this one to put on the other one. So there's no hood cable. Comes with roof racks, uh, which is a which is a, also included in the other model. Uh, what else can we show you? Do, do, do. Antenna still on. Tires are tires are probably average, probably under average. All four of them. Interior is still beautiful though. Got the check strap on this door side, so the door does not automatically close. Uh, as a wood grain with a chestnut or hazelnut, whatever show we, we want, you want to look at it. Uh, I think tinted as well, same as that one, tinted windows slightly. Uh, yeah, but you can see the interior condition is pretty good in this one. Speakers, um, this one is done 289,000 in 53 kilometers, 290 for this one. Uh, steering wheel's there, standard steering wheel with um, airbags. Leather interior condition. There's only a couple um, imperfections on this side. Usually you can see it all torn here, but this one is not. The headrests are from the other Jeep, as you can see. I put them on the other Jeep. Uh, put them back here, no problem. Uh, the interior is pretty clean. Cigarette lighter still works. Uh, that's the gas and fuel switch right there. Uh, CD play as Pioneer, I can give that away, no problem, no worries. Glove box still clips in, yes, center console, good condition. Seats excellent, trims excellent. Roof lining was aftermarket, I had this black, black cloth put on this piece here, very nice. White fabric, I mean black fabric, uh, with the LEDs in there. Uh, roof lining on this one's yeah, still perfect. As you can see, these are, these are the the, uh, the other electrical seats. I have two pairs electrical seats here as well. A spare pair electrical seats. Um, and this is the original from this car. Yeah, all wiring, nothing's cho chopped off. Good condition. Uh, these are all the parts from the other Jeep. Um, actually, yeah, that's that's original Jeep. Other, other one, as you can see, this one's black cloth. This one's there. This is, this is the fourth Jeep. Uh, there's only one Jeep I didn't keep, so I bought all three. One's gone. Uh, yeah, so what I was gonna say. What else? All parts included. So we have uh, what we have here: sway bar. This is a heavy, heavy duty all driving. Um, not a Pitman arm. What was it? Uh, I forget what it was. I think it was Ironman brand. Cargo tray, more air conditioning and thermo fans. More parts in the box here. Uh, cool on tank. That's the uh, tail lights for this model. Thermostat housing. Uh, and they've also got nudge bar, that's right. This white nudge bar came from the other Jeep. Without shocks. Uh, old man emu shocks. Uh, this one comes with a turbo as well. Let's see if you can see what brand it is. Look like, it looks like it's a Jeep. 
manufactured. Um, yeah, the original Jeep tow bar from the dealership. Not bad. Yeah. Uh, the fuel pump from this one has been taken, I'm pretty sure. It's got wiring for the trailer. No Anderson plug on this one. All doors have check straps. That's the other condition of the seat. Very good. That's where OBG is. It's got like a small cargo uh, area on top there. And this is the passenger side. Probably a bit drier than the other model. Um, don't know why, but there's still like, all of them leak on the footwell, passion footwell, as you would know. Uh, that's the other condition. Passion seats, excellent condition. Uh, the rubbers, yeah, they're not frail. All good. Uh, that's the condition of the passion uh, trim. Nice as well. Legos, limited. All blinkers, lights still work, but yeah, you can't register this. Okay, now to the down downside. Uh, we started having uh, rust here. It's probably just surface rust at the moment, not too deep yet. All the section here. That's where I got undercover on top at the moment. And that section over there. But yeah, you can't register, register this register this anyway, I'm pretty sure. So that wouldn't worry if you want to use it for parts, or crash derby or something. This would be fiberglass. Start to put fiberglass there, but start to eat, eat away more. Um, yeah, the roof's probably cactus. The tint, as you can see, no use at the back. And besides that, it was an excellent machine. Hey, thanks for watching.